All right, folks, uh, another tutorial I want to use is I'm going to use this tool called the Spot Healing Brush and the Healing Brush tool. It's a very useful tool in Photoshop, so um, let's see how it works. I got a couple of images here in a folder that I've saved. I've got a picture of a park here. And if you want to just open up a photo in Photoshop without going through File and Open, you can just drag drag the image by left click, holding a left click, and just dropping it at the top up here. Not down here, up here at the top part of the program and let go and it should open up. Then we have our image. As you can see down here, you're going to notice there's a little lock on the actual image. What I usually do is I'll take the image, I'll drag it down to this one, the, the new layer icon. This one down here is that new layer. I'm going to drag this in here and create a new layer. What I've done is I've duplicated that file. Okay, So that way, just in case I screw up, I can always go back to the original file. Next, the image is a little too small for me, so I'm going to change the size down here. Okay, Down there. Change the size to um, 50. And then I want to move the image around. Okay, on the screen. A fast way to do that is to just hold the um, space bar key on your keyboard while you you hold the space bar key down and you have your icon turns into a little hand. That will allow you to move the image around on the screen and that's a really useful shortcut to help you um, move the photo around when you need it. So I'm going to select the spot healing brush tool right it's this one with those three circles if you don't see it there hold the left click mouse button and you'll see some other options again the photo still seems a little too far I'm going to zoom in at 200 or 150 let's try that hold my space bar key down and then I can start looking so the goal of the spot healing brush is that you're going to use a content aware fill method or content aware to help remove some of the nasty stuff that you see there. Maybe you don't want those uh, those leaves to show up in there. So all I do is you can see this circle, I hope, and you just click on a spot, maybe this spot here. I don't want that to be there. I'm just gonna click on it and it's gone. I don't want that to be there. I just click on it and it's gone and so forth. So I'm just clicking and um, clicking on areas. Maybe that leaf there, I don't want that there. I'll, I'll just click on it and it's gone again. What the spot healing brush tool is doing, it's sampling the area around there and using the algorithms in Photoshop to, as content aware fill to sort of kind of fill in the pixels. Um, in particular, grass is a really great one to use it with. There's this here. I'm gonna increase my brush size so the circle will get bigger. To do that, it's a little hard to see. Do something here. There's a bracket key right here on your keyboard. If you press that, it'll make the circle bigger. If you press this one, it'll make it smaller. Okay. So Okay, so I'm just going to click on that grassy area and it's gone. That's it. And then you can again Click those bracket keys to change the size of your brush. Hold the space bar, move around again. And this is what a lot of uh, you know editors do to correct their photos. And you can also use this to correct facial features. Um, if there's blemishes on a person and you want to clean that up. So that's it. That's just one sample. Let's do one more. So I'm going to grab another image. This one's a, at a beach. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to drag it up to the very top. I'm not going to drag it down to the canvas. If I let go, what happens is Photoshop will drop this onto the previous image we're working on. We don't want that. Okay. So let's try it again. Drag that photo up to the very top and let go. So now we got our image here of a beach, a sandy beach. It has a lot of mess in there. So this tool is perfect for that. Maybe you want to clean it up. So I'm going to zoom in Again, I'll change that number down there to 120 or something. And then we can hold the space bar. I said hold the space bar and, and use the hand tool to move around. Okay. 
And then, you know, if you don't want to use the bracket key, you can change the size of your brush up here by increasing the size, okay? If you keep, if you go all the way, you'll have a really big brush to clean. So, but I like using the shortcut keys, it's really helpful. So let's start with this piece of junk right there. Let's get that cleared up. I'm gonna make my brush size a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna click with the spot healing brush and it's almost gone. Click again and it's gone. It's almost as if it didn't exist. But you know what, I forgot to do something. Remember, always drag your photo down to a new layer tool to create a duplicate. That's always handy. So there, let's click on that uh, obstruction there we don't want. Click on that. Click on it again to get rid of that shadow. Hold the space bar key, move around. We've got this bottle down here. Um, you know how I just click? You can also hold it and just draw over that section there. Let's see what happens. There you go. It's gone. There's another piece of trash right here. Let's hover over that and it's gone again this cup here let's get rid of it make my brush a little bit bigger color over it let go and it's gone okay we have this little cup down over here click on that and it's gone there's some trash right here let's click on let's hover over it make a circle and it's gone let's try to keep going with this this large piece here, I think we can clean that up. Let's make our brush eyes bigger and just color in to disappear. Make sure that you are on content aware. If you're not on content aware selected up there, you're not going to be able to do this. So let's try this other one here. Let's color it in. Okay, gone. There's some more trash over here. Let's click on that and so forth. There's a lot more trash around here. Let's see how well we can clean this up. Okay. So what you're doing is you kind of click around, and if it doesn't look good, just click again. There you go. Shrink my brush a little bit. Okay. You got to be careful with it, though. If for some reason you, you swipe the tool across here, it's going to cause some issues there. So you don't use it for that. You use it for small things. Spoon, fork. Let's try to clean this up here. There we go. Okay, it's looking better already. So let's um, let's zoom out. I'm going to show you the before and after. This was the after. This was the before. Before, after, before, and after. Right here at the very bottom, you'll notice that there's a little eyeball, just like in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you click on the eyeball, it hides a layer. Remember we duplicated the original file? Well, the original file is at the very bottom, and so when we hide the top one, the, the bottom one is revealed. So you can see how we cleaned up the beach. That's it. That's how the spot healing brush works. Now there's another tool called the healing brush tool, which does the same thing, but we're not gonna talk about that yet, but if you wanted to explore that tool, the way it works is you have to sample an area by holding down the Alt key and clicking somewhere and then coloring in to, an, uh, to, a, to a location, okay? But uh, you, can, you can look into that if you'd like to, if you, if you want to do more. So what I'd like you to do is to definitely find some images online. I want you to do several of them and practice using this technique. Um, practice bringing the photo in, editing the photo. So let's say we're done, we're going to save it. We're going to go to File, Save As, go to your Files, okay? Go to your folder in your box of computer uh, V storage for video storage 2013, the period class that you're in, and find your name. And then I'm going to call this um, Beach Cleanup and leave it as a PSD file and save, okay? And that's it. You're done. Close the file and uh, you should be good to go.